most leaders default to the command and control mode when dealing with employees. You've really worked hard. You've really got good at what you do. And then you get promoted because of your accomplishments. When you get promoted, you are expected as a manager to have all the answers. In today's day and age, I hope you would agree with me that market dynamics shift constantly. Technology changes are rampant. The people that are supposed to have all the answers don't have answers. So how can they direct others on what to do? The key thing here is to dial down the command and control behavior and learn how to collaborate with others and coach employees. In this video, I'm going to share with you how Satya Nadella, when he took over Microsoft, used the GROW model to help Microsoft really transform into a learning and a coaching organization. Hi, my name is Anil Jaising. I'm a certified Scrum trainer with Scrum Alliance, an adjunct professor with the NYU Graduate Program of Project Management, and an entrepreneur running Concepts and Beyond, a premier training and coaching company. It is my mission to help leaders, teams, and organizations run profitable businesses and innovate on products. On this channel, I share stories of product management, business agility, and leadership. So if these topics intrigue you and you find them valuable, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. When Satya Nadella took over the helm at Microsoft, he started experimenting with the GROW model. The GROW model involves four steps. The first letter of which gives the model its name. It's easy to understand this model, but very hard to implement. The G stands for goal. Before you begin discussing a topic with someone, ask what is it that they want to accomplish for this discussion. You can ask, what do you want when you walk out of this door that you don't have at the moment? This is not about talking big goals and big visions. This is just about this particular session if somebody's come to you with a problem. The R stands for reality. Now that you know the goal, this is the time to ask powerful questions. Powerful questions are questions that start with a what, where, how. When you ask such questions, they're going to be forced to look within themselves and question their reality and get answers from within. You can also ask questions starting with the why, but they are a little dangerous. It might make the other person defensive or they might feel that you are judging them. The O stands for options. Most likely the person who's come to you might not have options or might have very limited options to consider. At this point, you want to have them step back and think broadly and potentially more deeply. The person having the problem is so much into his or her problem that they haven't had a chance to see the problem in the context of their environment or also beyond their current environment. When you ask them to step back, this helps them consider more options and think outside the box. As they come up with more options, your job is to help them think about the upside and downside of each option. The W stands for will. After you have a list of options and pros and cons of each option, the question you should ask is, so what will you do now? This will help the other person having the problem feel in control of the situation and feel that they have a choice to pick from. The choice is something that they feel is the best for them. When managers start to adopt this method, working from the premise that they don't have all the answers, the organization slowly transforms into a learning organization. When Satya Nadella took over the helm at Microsoft, he looked at managers and these managers would tell people what to do and evaluate direct reports according to how well they have mastered certain skills and generated numbers. This worked very well in the past, but as smartphones and cloud shift happened, Microsoft was not able to handle the change. Due to the current behaviors of the managers, risk aversion and bureaucracy had taken over. In the book, The Geek Way, the author Andrew McAfee shares how the CIA had a way to slow down an enemy nation. Just give them the SOP, standard operating procedures. By doing this, it would slow down the nation and put them into bureaucracy. The same is the ailment at many, many large organizations. They have approvals, procedures, workflows, and so much hierarchy that it slows down decision-making and hampers any risk-taking. Nadella introduced coaching to Microsoft by modeling the GROW behaviors with his leadership team. He actively listened no matter who you were in the organization. With the help of his leadership team, he began to instill the growth mindset and transforming the culture from command and control to that of coaching. This led Microsoft to move to a cloud-first strategy. This shift involved risks 
because before they were depending on selling PCs and servers, now they were going into the rental business with the cloud. This also brought about different needs. They needed to serve for their customer. And the salespeople had to adopt the active listening mindset. The role of the manager shifted to hiring, growing and motivating others that reported to them and bring about the capabilities to build customer success. I would like to highlight a new course I am teaching, a new course called Certified Agile Leader. If you're interested in learning how the GROW model connects very well with Agile Leadership, join my Certified Agile Leader course. This course is certified by Scrum Alliance and it teaches you the skills that you require to be an Agile Leader and how to develop them. I plan to run this course in January 2025 and it typically costs about $1,000 to attend. For a limited time, this course and the certification is available to you at only $100. Only if you attend this course and give me your honest feedback. When you sign up for the interest list that's in the description below, I'll send you the discount code to sign up for the course. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for stories of product innovation fueled by leadership, product management, and business agility topics. I'll see you next time.